once again, welcome back. So for today, you are in for a treat because I finally decided to do this video. Actually, for the past few weeks, I was thinking whether or not to make this video, but I finally decided that maybe I should because it's very, very important and beneficial for ano, each and every single one of you, and also for other ano, future pet owners out there. So. Um, for today, as you can see, my two pets are with me. Um, Luna is right there. She's kind of sleepy. At the same time, si Atlas din po. Kasi medyo siya sa time po siya ngayon. Kaya parang si Atlas, pero wala rin po siya sa Atlas, say hi, Bobo. Say hi, Bobo. Pops, you say hi, come on. Come on, Bobo. You say hi, Bobo. Come on. Come on. Wala siya sa mood. Wala siya lang. Wala talaga siya sa mood. <laughs> Kasi lang niyang humiga. Ang buntong hininga pa. Sige na matulog ka na. So for today, ano yung gagawin ko? Ano yung ipapakita ko sa inyong video? So I finally decided to show you how I did my DIY dog or pet first aid kit. So, this is very, very helpful kasi sobrang laking tulong po nito sa akin. Ilabahis ko na rin siya na gamit. So, I thought of um, doing a video. I'll show you, I'll give you a quick run through of the contents of my DIY first aid kit para at least you are also aware and maybe you know, if you are interested, you can make one at home. So, since you are uh, so you, you subscribe to my channel and I promise you I give you different diba, pet care tips, hacks na makakatulong sa inyo, mga cheap ano, ways on how to take care of your dogs, pero effective ways on how to take care of them. So for the first hack that I'm gonna tell you on how to do your DIY first aid kit is you can actually, instead of buying yung mga mahal na ready-made na na first aid kit online kasi it can be very very expensive tapos yung mga container niya sobrang diba bong very mga first aid kit you can actually use just a regular container like this I bought this at a department store it's an organizer so at the same time if you do not have one a regular shoe box will do so pwede po yun kahit basta yung medyo malaking shoe box yung mga siguro sa rubber shoes para medyo malaki marami kayong ma mailagay so um I'm gonna open this, tapos I'm gonna give you a quick run. As you can see, may isa pa akong box sa loob. So this is a smaller tackle box. Kasi before, when I decided to do the first aid kit for my dogs, ganito lang po talaga yung una kong binili. So yung itsura po niya is, sa department store ko lang din po itong binili. Meron siya, okay. Tapos may mga, may mga divider po. Tapos may container. Tapos syempre, um, Patagal ng patagal habang nag-aalaga ka ng pets. Parang padami ng padami yung mga contents na gusto kong ilagay sa loob ng kit. Kaya, siya nag kaya ako nagkaroon ng extra na ganito. So basically ito, I just put this inside para at least isang dalahan na lang. So we can start dito sa smaller one. So I have a parang suction thingy. I bought this kasi before si Luna nung nanganak. This is used dun sa nose, tsaka sa mouth ng puppies. Newborn puppies po, paglabas ng puppies, kasi sinasak po rito yung mga laman para po makahinga sila maigi at tsaka mas mabilis. Um, so ito, nandito lang naman, wala namang, hindi magbuntis si Luna ngayon or anything, pero syempre, it's good to have it, just in case. And then, I have a few droppers with me, yun nga, for medicines, if I need it. Tapos, meron ako mga spare medicines before, yung mga nagamit na nila, pag may mga sakit sila na nareseta din before ng doctor. And then, but syempre, hindi ako basta-basta nagbibigay, unless advice. Ito lang yung mga na sobra na hindi na nainu. Tapos, meron akong gauze bandage. I bought this din sa um, drugstore. And then, of course, I have surgical scissors. Yung surgical scissors, mga supplies, meron din naman online. Pero it's good that you buy yung blunt, yung edge, para at least safe shot for cutting. And then, sa loob, I have hydration salts. Yun nga, kapag sobrang kailangan for your pets. Meron na akong spare. Kasi before, na reseta din ito kay Atlas dati. And then, I have a syringe. Siyempre, I take up the needle pag kailangan. This is also used for medicines. And then, talagang tinulugan lang ako. So, it's just you and me. So, the syringe. And then, I have a few gauze pads na ready. 
ito very helpful lalo na yun nga before kasi nga nung nagbuntis nga si Luna ang dami kong tools na pinila isa to kasi nga pag nag-change ako ng gauze pati yung mga plaster meron ako here so meron akong 2x2 and then meron akong 3x3 yun din kasi syempre pag nagkaroon ng sugat pag kailangan diba tatakpan kasi nga pag binidilaan nila minsan ganun kasi so I have this with me so basically yun yung yun yung laman yung una kong kit and then syempre nag-expand and nag-expand ang dami kong gusto kong ilagay ang dami ko kasi biglang kinailangan talagang pang first aid I bought another one a bigger one so nandito karamihan ng iba pang mga medicines tsaka mga go-tubes ko mga quick fix kapag may mga sugat maliliit na sugat kalmot or what not so I have I have this meron akong alcohol but um, please take note I do not use alcohol for antiseptic or yung cleaning ng wound pag may sugat sila this is for my hand Para steril yung kamay ko before I treat them kapag may mga sugat po sila. This is for me. Hindi po ito para sa asa. So, meron din ako bag. Nilalagyan po ito. Pwede pa si kasi itong cold, pwede rin siyang hot. So, this came very handy nung may, may time na madaling araw. Nakwento ko po yun sa isang vlog ko. Na-diagnosed din si Atlas with ehrlichiosis. Ehrlichia, yung parang dengue sa aso na pinatawag. So, nagbe-bleed siya all over. So, kailangan, kinailangan ko ng first aid. So, gumamit po ako nito. Nilagyan ko siya ng ice. And then, at the same time, meron ako mga cheese na bloke eh, na nilagay ko sa freezer. Um, maganda rin siyang ilagay nga sa ilong. Tapos, so, papunta kami ng ER. Yun yung gamit-gamit po kami. So, malaking tulong kasi nag-stop agad yung bleeding niya. Wala pa kami sa ER. Medyo pintok na yung bleeding. So, this one. And then... Um, I have this baby oil for their ears kasi nga dun sa isang vlog ko I use this actually for ear cleaning kasi nga pwede rin siya pamatay ng mga ear mites and other insects pero I also have ilium drops ito ilium nareseta rin to sa kanila before nung vet kasi kinailangan din namin so meron ako on hand so I also have cotton Kasi ginagamit ko to whenever I clean pag may mga sugat po sila. And then, I have cotton buds just in case. Pero never ko naman itong nagagamit kasi I don't use this for their ears. And then, I have another pair of scissors here na blunt kasi I use this for cutting. And then, meron ako bandage just for first aid just in case. And then, meron ako for the bandages yung tip. Kasi this is more, ano, this is more, mas madikit to, leukoplast, yung tawag sa kanya, compared dun sa mga before na tape na color white. Mas mabilis kasi yung matanggal. So, ito, kapag talagang kailangan takpan yung isang wound or yung bandage, mas ginagamit ko to. So, I also have, for the wound cleaning, I have this one. Diba nga, I do, not, I do not use this for cleaning their wounds. I use Betadine. Yung Betadine, ginagamit ko to for wound cleaning kapag meron silang mga sugat. Dinadilute ko rin po ito sa water. So, aside from that, I also have this Dermaclen solution. I also use this as, ano, for cleaning their wounds. Pero at the same time, it actually promotes healing. So, maganda po itong product kasi nareseta na rin ito before. Kay Luna before, yung sa sugat niya si Chan, nung meron siyang tahe. So, sobrang bilis nung effect nito. Actually, meron pa itong pot, parang cream. After you spray this, yung cleaning, nilalagyan ng cream. Kasi yung cream, naubusan na rin po kasi ako. So, um, pero... Since wala ako ng cream, I have this balm na I use. Meron akong herbal, parang pet balm. I use this for mga, this is made of ano, madre de cacao, guava, neem, and acapulco. I, this is all natural and all vegan. Um, I use this for their wounds pag may mga sugat silang mga maliliit. Yun, ginagamit ko ito. Para lang po. And then, for their... Pag meron silang crack, mga yung paws, pa pag sobrang dry, masakit yung po kasi yung sa dogs and their nose. So meron ako, I use this nose, I have this nose and paw bag na ginagamit ko. Uh, ginagamit ko po ito sa kanilang mga paa. 
So, maganda naman siya kasi it helps moisturize their feet. Pero, like I said, if nagtitipid po tayo, actually, this is very cheap. Pero if you do not have this on hand, kung medyo matatagalan pa kasi if you pa kayo online, is ship, you can actually use, ano, Vaseline. Pero super, super, super konti lang po kasi spread nyo yun sa paws ng dogs po ninyo. Tapos at the same time, once you put the Vaseline on their paws, i-dab nyo po ng tissue para talagang mas mabawasan pa. Kasi actually, this one, I bought this kasi this is lick safe. Lick safe and unscented po siya. So, yun yung mga ilang products na ginagamit po tsaka mga medicines. And but last but not the least, of course, I have this. This is called um, stick tick powder. Yung stick tick powder po is actually used for to stop the bleeding. So, medyo mas kilala siya kung napapansin nyo siguro baka sa boomer nakita nyo na to. Dito, open po siya. Powder po siya. Stick tick powder is actually used to stop the bleeding. Accidentally, kumare nagupit yung with quick nung nails ng dogs po natin. Tapos nag-bleed. Um, kukuha lang po kayo nito, a pinch, and then ilalagay niyo po siya sa kuko na nagupit, na nag-bleed for mga about 10 seconds more or less. Tapos the bleeding will automatically stop. So, but then again, sabi ko nga, since you are subscribed to my channel, another pet hack or um, na tip that you can use um, in replacement of the stick tick powder, if you do not have this or wala kayong capability to purchase one online, um, you can actually use cornstarch or flour. Yung regular ano lang naman natin yun, household items na ginagamit sa kitchen, you can actually use that. So basically, that's it. That, those are the items that I have for my first aid kit for my dogs. I also use this for my cats pag kailangan. And then, yun po, um, so far, if you think there are more items that I should include, um, oh, by the way, it's also good that you include the number of vet, ninyo, family vet, but my, the numbers kasi are all inside my cell phone. So, don't kasi nilalagay. Yung iba kasi naglalagay po, papapu silang yung booklet. So, it's also good to have that. So, yun, sana nakatulong yung video ko sa inyo today, and I hope, um, I can see you again in my next vlog soon. If you do like my video, please um, hit that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing because I'm planning to upload more pet care hacks and uh, videos for you in the future to help you become the best and all for moms and dads for your pets. So I'm gonna leave a few links down below. Please do check them out. And I hope I can see you in my next vlog soon. By the way, siguro for my next vlog, I'm gonna do ano, parang ways on how to take care of your dog's paws. And dami ko po pa po naka line up. So I'll just see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Flash is a mood. Flash is a mood. Here, Bobby.